All right. What is up, homies? My mixing engineers out there. Uh, I've been gone for a while. I've been in New Orleans recording a new artist that I'm working with. So now I have a bunch of material that I get to show you guys some tutorials with. And so let's start it up. Right now we're gonna do some vocals and we're gonna do vocal comping. And what that is, you have your artist record, let's say like seven or eight takes of four or five lines of their track, whatever you wanna get perfectly. And then you go in after and you choose every part of those vocals from each take that is the best of that that certain section. It's called vocal comping. And it's the way that vocal artists today get their best sounding vocal. Artists normally think of it as cheating, but studio professionals or mixing engineers, you know that's just like the only way you get industry standard professional pop vocals now. And unless you like having mistakes in your vocals and you would like really raw music, which personally, when it comes to like vocals, I don't really like mistakes. That should be safe for live performances, in my opinion. Whereas the, the track itself should be, should be pretty strong. While I was in New Orleans, we recorded all the vocal takes not full songs. We didn't record the in full song of vocals. We basically did stanzas. Um, and what I mean by that is like the verse. We recorded the first verse about 10 times and I had it on a loop and you just have the artist just sing it over and over and over. And you try to make sure they know that if they make a mistake, don't try to wait until the next take because if they get one line really good and then they mess up on another one, we can cut that bad line out for a better one they do on another take. So they're supposed to just kind of sing through it and just kind of just keep singing and singing and singing and singing. That's why it's really good to have a good relationship relationship with your artist, they don't get embarrassed about kind of doing the tedious, nerve wracking aspects of recording in a recording studio. Uh, but this is how you get the best vocals. And so we're gonna start with vocal comping. And normally I vocal comp and then I will either Melodyne or if there's more vocal issues, I'll have to fix those first. But then you go into Melodyne and you make sure that their pitch is reasonably close. If it's more like hip hop -y and they want auto tune, you can do that too. But I normally just like to do pitch corrections so that the few tiny deviations that aren't perfect, you can kind of fix up so that it's a really perfect vocal take. And then from there we vocal process after that, which I had a tutorial on that earlier. So right now we're going to vocal comp. Let's start. Um, this is the first, these are all the vocal takes and in Ableton, which in Ableton 11, they're going to fix this for vocal comping. But now what you do is you set it on a loop. If I were to have this on a loop right here and I'm having my artist sing and it's recording and it loops back, you're not losing this track. All you got to do is double click it and scroll out and you have all these other takes here. And so what you do is now you loop this vocal track right here. And every time I hit the down arrow or up arrow, it moves the whole loop with it. And so now I can change the vocal take from each take to take. And so that's what we're gonna do. That's how we're gonna go through the takes. That's how I do it in Ableton. It's better, it works a lot better in Logic, but once the upgrade comes out for Ableton 11 and they include vocal comping, I honestly feel like that's gonna be one of the few last things that Logic has over Ableton and Ableton's gonna start moving more towards the industry standard, personal opinion. But let's get started. So, so personally, when it comes to mixing, when it comes to producing, vocals are my favorite and I don't find any of this that tedious. Most of the time, I really like, for some reason, going through a bunch of takes of something and making it perfect. There's something about hearing a raw take and then hearing the end take and you're just, you know that you're the one that made that sound so good. And I just, I get a lot of uh, uh, joy in doing that. And so we're gonna loop, we're gonna loop this phrase right here. All right, so I'm gonna go through these and we're trying to find the best of each little verse here. So we're pay paying attention to this line right here. So let's listen to it. Oh, and also if you have any effects going on, you wanna take them off. You don't want your ear to be tricked by some cool sounding reverb or delay that you had for your vocal artist when they were recording. You really wanna just hear their drive vocals. Woke up this morning, you told me goodbye. So now I'm gonna go into that take and I'm gonna go backwards through the other takes and see which one sounds better. Woke up this morning, you told me goodbye. So I like vocal take three as of now. Woke up this morning, you told me goodbye. This morning, you told me goodbye. Woke up this morning, you told me goodbye. Woke up this morning, you told me goodbye. Woke up this morning, you told me goodbye. Yeah, so as of now, I really like that third take, but then there's also more takes down here that we did. So I'm gonna listen to that one too. Woke up this morning, you told me goodbye. Oh, I kinda like that one. Woke up this morning, you told me goodbye. Woke up this morning, you told me goodbye. 
So that one might be my new favorite. Let's listen back to this last take. Woke up this morning, you told me goodbye. Mmm, that's tough. The woke up this morning is throwing me off. Woke up this morning, woke up this morning. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go with this take up here. And so now I'm gonna cut that out. You can always get it back. It's not like you deleted it. But if you hit Control E, or if you're on Windows, if you hit Control E, and if you're on Mac, you hit Command E. You can put these little divots to separate the tracks, and it's really good to do that to separate like the stanza or the verses and the words that you want to kind of loop. Because then when you go into your loop, it's gonna instantly put that little start bar where you just put that line, and so you don't have to worry about making a new loop and or getting off time. And so now we're gonna do the same thing. Like I said, the tedious part of this is really listening to your vocalist. You said there's too much to change, and I won't even try. I'm gonna turn up his vocals a little bit so we can make sure that we're hearing it over that guitar. You said there's too much to change, and I won't even try. You said there's too much to change, and I won't even try. So I do like the third one as of now. You said there's too much to change, and I won't even try. You said there's too much to change, and I won't even try. You said there's too much to change, and I won't even try. So I think it, it will be important to separate the won't even try and try to find the best take on that separate from this one. So I'm going to make that loop here. You said there's too much to change. 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 You said there's too much. You said there's too much to change. You said there's too much to change. You said there's too much to change. You said there's too much. You said there's too much to change. 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 Between these two. You said there's too much to change. You said there's too You said there's too much. So I'm gonna go with that one. I have to. There's just something about it. So now we're gonna cut this one back. And remember that none of this is gonna stay like this when it comes to cuts and things. We can come back and make sure everything's perfect, but I'm just trying to get the perfect vocal when it comes to how you want your vocals to sound, how they wanna sound, what have you. So now let's try to find the best sounding end part of this verse. And I, won't, and I, won't even try. I kinda like that one. And I won't even try. Mm, but I like that one too. And I won't even try. I won't even try. And I won't even try. And I won't even try. I like that one the best as of now. And I won't even try. 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 And I won't Try, and I won't even try. And I won't even try. I'm having a hard time wondering if I like it when he said, uh, I won't even try. He came on a little a little early, and this one came in on beat. And I'm wondering what I like better when it comes to the sound we're going for. And I won't even try. You said there's too much to change, and I won't even try. I might like that early one, but let's swap these out real quick and just see. You said there's too much to change, and I won't even try. Damn, I don't know, man. I don't like that. It's too tough. <laughs> they both really hit in the right way. You said there's too much to change, and I won't even try. You said there's too much to change, and I won't even try. I'm gonna go with the early one for now. 
I want to change it when I come back. So you know what I'm going to do actually? So I'm going to mark this one. I'm going to mark it like a, a red color. I'm going to put it on this take four. Just so we know that it's like there's something with that one that we liked in the past. We can always come back to it. We don't even ever need to come back to it. It still works. All right, next one. You walked out the door before I could speak. You walked out the door before I could speak. Okay, so now, now that we got those, let us bring these up to the main track. So now, if you were to put your effects back on and listen to it, it should be the best vocal take you have out of your takes, and then you melt on and you do all your other stuff after. Laying a wing last night, just trying to breathe. I saw your hope in a frame, your ghost in the sheet. Up on a hill from some time away from God. There's a tree with our names still carved on its heart. Tell me the love that you had isn't gone. Cause I'm still somewhere inside and I'm still holding. I think I might want to try to, there's some parts in the guitar I might want to try to Melodyne once it's processed as well. But I don't really normally do that because it can really mess up the sound, but we'll try it. Uh, but yes, so that is vocal comping. That was a good session of vocal comping. It's tedious, but it really does make the best sounding vocals you can get out of multiple vocal takes.